and we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Houston Rockets. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Now, here is Battier. Pick by Yao. Six to shoot. Over Gasol. Bank shot. No good. How about that hard-nosed D in the paint right there? Nice job. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on Absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. The Lakers on offense. To the inside. And Kobe throws it down. Leaping up to the rim. Bryant sees the opening and does not hesitate to attack. Get there, get there. Outside Lowry. And we're set to open the new season. A day of cautious optimism for a whole lot of teams. Well, hope is eternal at this point in the season for every franchise, Kevin. But you're right. For most teams, the big hope in any new season is that they've somehow taken a step forward in the offseason and not gone back. Now here's Kobe following the miss by Kyle Lowry. Kobe, that's good. Bryant's mid-range game is an absolute killer. So confident in that space. Lowry against Walker. Scola dishes to Battier. Down low, Lowry. And the layup's good off the glass. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the middle. Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Walker the pass to Bryant. And Scola pulls it down. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Pass to Yao. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And Yao Ming's a handful when he's this deep. I mean, virtually impossible to guard. You can't let him get this kind of position. Easier said than done, though. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. It's good. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. And so here is Houston after the basket by Los Angeles. Martin kicks to Battier. Odom against Scola. Over Odom. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. Better to be lucky than good. Got that shot to fall. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Walker against Lowry. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Shane Batty. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Rockets trail by four. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Good on the triple. A certified sniper. Martin can be so consistent from range. High post, Bryant. 
in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Shots good by Walker. He got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a five-point game. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. That's a nice display of patience inside from Lowry. Didn't rush his shot, takes his time, and really does a nice job sinking these high-percentage looks. And Kobe throws it down. Bryant able to elevate and levitate once he takes flight. Just enjoy the show, folks. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And let's take a look here at some numbers for Luis Scola. Last year, getting it done. He was around 16 points a game, eight rebounds, and two assists. And always nice to have a guy like him who can really defend at a high level coming off the bench. You know, when you can sub in a lockdown defender, that's a major plus. Now, here's Walker. He's got 10. It's stolen by Martin. Battier with it. Picked up by Kobe. Good work defensively by Kobe. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Walker the pass to Kobe. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Rockets trail by seven. Now, here's Lowry, and it's the machine with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Off the inbound, and it's sent back by Odom. The length of Odom shows up at both ends of the floor. Outstanding defense there. Just five to shoot. And Lowry has it in the corner. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Yeah, I agree. Not a lot of activity chasing down their misses. Some teams focus on getting back, and I understand that. But you should send at least one guy after those. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Stolen by Walker. Odom on the win. Let's it go from deep. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Rockets trail by nine. Hope loose. Stolen by Walker. Here's the floater. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. This one for three. The Rockets pull it in. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Martin finds Lowry. Can they get it? And that's two points on the layup. Lowry's got six. And try and name a six-footer who likes to operate inside more than Lowry. He is a beast. The kick out to Walker. Back to Kobe. Shoots the three. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got five assists in the game. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now a timeout called by Houston. Barnes is checked in for our chances. Houston also making some changes. Jared Jeffries is checked in for Batty. Taylor comes in for Kevin Martin. And Brooks subbed in for Kyle Lauer. Now here's Brooks. Walker with some nice D. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. A uh, moment here now to 
see the numbers for Aaron Brooks. Good season for him last year. And amongst the league's top tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Knocked away, stolen by Walker. And the dunk by Kobe. How about the follow-up by Bryant, outworking the defense to get that second chance opportunity. Outside, Scola. Picked by Yao. Scola passes to Yao. Shoots over Gasol. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First trip to the line for him here. And he knocks down the first one. And Ming, boy, I tell you, this guy is so big. He's a dominant force who also has a touch that belies his size. This guy is a real force at both ends. 156 left in the first. Passes it to Bryant. Taylor with the rebound. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Jeffries dishes to Brooks. Scola at the elbow. Six on the shot clock. Barnes against Taylor. Another miss by Houston. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 18 to 7 run. On the wing, Walker. Brooks covering. Outside, Walker. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and he's really riding that wave right now. Outside, Scola. From deep, Brooks. Rebounded by Odom. Lakers leading by 14. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here is a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Kobe Bryant, fourth. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Miller's checked in for Yao. Hayes comes in for Luis Scola. And Martin subbed in for Taylor. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. And Walker kicks to Kobe. He gets it in there. Kobe's got 17 now. Eight for 10 out of the gate. Couldn't ask for a much better start than that. And so Brooks will bring it up for Houston. They trail by 14. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. He's got five. Los Angeles has gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. And it's Walker penetrating. Up in time. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their transition game has been in full effect. We'll return shortly. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Another shot, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's on Aaron Brooks. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. At the line for two, Walker. The first free throw is good. 
Now here's Adidas, Greg, this season introducing new team uniforms. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. You know, we've seen them time and time again working themselves to the charity strike and making a living at the line, basically. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. Uyajic just checked in for Brown. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a toe. Oh. Yes, sir. Come on. Bring it. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Here's Martin. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Walker goes in, and Walker throws it down hard. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn. Nabbing another steal. And he's making history tied for third most steals in a single game. Incredible tenacity. He continues to hound the ball. They get a hand and another steal for him. He's been a defensive terror all night long. I've never seen anything like it. And he's actually tied the record for the most steals in a game.